I told him not to do that. Uh, it's me, pretty princess. Yeah. <laughs> I see we're gonna have some problems tonight. Okay. Yeah. So I was watching the view this morning, like I normally do. And today was Raven Simone's 30th birthday. And so, you know, they, the show was basically her show today. You know, they were showing clips of when she was little and when she first started out and, you know, all this kind of stuff. And then people were coming on to surprise her. The guy from Empire, he came, because I think they're really good friends or whatever. And SWV, they sang, which was really horrible. Oh, God, I wish they would quit. I really do, because they just embarrassing themselves at this point. I mean, because they were singing, and, you know, after they were singing, they came to interview them, and they were so out of breath that they could barely even do the interview. Plus, their voices, I mean, I think... After a while, you just don't sound the same. But they keep singing the songs that they used to sing back in the 90s. And it just sounds horrible. Like, it's, I don't know. It's just, um, whatever. But anyway, let me go back to what I'm originally here to talk about. So, you know, they did the whole thing for Raven Simone today. And after the view went off, I had got on Instagram and was looking because the shade room, I know some of y'all know what the shade room is. It's a blog site. Um, has said happy birthday to Raven Simone. And it was the picture that Raven had posted, I guess, on her Instagram when she was like, happy birthday to me, I'm 30 or whatever. And I just could not believe some of the comments that people were making. I mean, we live in, we, we, and we worried about Muslims killing us. That should be the least of our fears. Because some of the comments that were made by our own people against our own people, and when I say that, I say black people against Raven Simone, who is black, were hideous. I mean, if we can harbor that much hatred in our hearts for some things that Raven have said six months ago, three months ago, if you still holding on to that type of anger, I can see why people are dying from cancer and a lot of other diseases and stuff because some of the comments were just hideous. I mean, just reading how young people express themselves. And I know the internet is a free for all. You know, you, you have these internet trolls and internet gangsters and they behind the screen and they just say, whatever comes to mind but some things are just ridiculous i mean you know to write that somebody should kill themselves or because she made a statement that you didn't agree with so it's her birthday oh she should kill herself today or she, her dad should have flushed that sperm down the toilet how do, how do, how do you even think of stuff that's that mean to to type on the internet and it's just it wasn't just one or two comments 
it was just comment after comment after comment after comment. It's like the person read the comment before theirs and tried to top that by saying something that was so much more nasty than what the person wrote before them. I mean, for people just to flat out say, I hate her, or she's a disgusting person, I wish she would die. Who is, who is raising these type of kids? And why do we have that much anger and hatred towards somebody that we don't even know personally? I mean, if somebody says something, if Raven Simone says something, if Kim Kardashian does something, if whoever, Queen Latifah, I'm just throwing out random names now of, of celebrities. If they do something, if they do it today, and I don't think it's cool, tomorrow or six months from now, I'm not still calling them a bitch and wishing death upon them. Just like them, I have moved on with my life. And some of y'all should too, because it's just ridiculous. Because do people not understand that the negativity that you throw out into the universe is what you're going to get back? So if I'm wishing death on somebody, that's going to come back to me? I mean, if you believe in the Bible, then death and life is in the power of the tongue what we speak comes to existence. So you wishing death on somebody, that's going to come back to you eventually. You know, people that believe in karma or, or whatever, it's, it's all the same thing. Why? I, why do we do that? I just, I mean, just reading those comments, like, it just really bothered me. It bothered my spirit that we have that much anger we harbor that much anger and resentment in our hearts for people when they say or do something i mean just like kim kardashian she, she had a baby the other day and instead of people being happy that she had a baby they're more focused on the baby's name what she should have named her child what well, she should have named her child. Whatever that woman wants to name her child is her business. If she wants to name her baby Saint, then it's her prerogative. Who are we to tell her what to name her child? And why do you care? You ain't got to get that baby a dime. And you're not. So why do you care what, what she names her baby? That's her and her baby. We ought to be grateful that she had a healthy child. I mean, she could have, from what they say, it was a, a difficult delivery. She could have died. The baby could have died because she had the same thing that my grandchild had when he was born with the placenta or whatever detached from the uterus. And it's, I know it's a lot of bleeding involved, and, and it's difficult. So... Why can't we just be happy for her? I mean, I'm not saying don't be upset when things happen, but I'm saying learn how to drop that stuff and move on with your life. Six months down the road, we shouldn't still be saying, God damn, she named her baby Whoop de Whoop. I'm so sick of her for naming her baby. Saying who she, we shouldn't be doing this in six months, but we will. Because some of y'all ain't got nothing else to do. Seriously, I want some of y'all to just sit back and think about what you harboring. And let that stuff go. Because when you harbor hatred and resentment in your heart for somebody, you're not doing nothing to them. Because they live in their life. You are causing cancer and sickness and death to come to you because you holding in all that ugly, negative, black heartedness. Let that go, people. We got to do better. And stop worrying about the Muslims because we killing each other with our tongues. 
Don't worry about them dropping bombs on us. We're doing enough damage to each other as it is. And if you really think about that, you'll understand what I'm saying. Because it's not, it ain't the terrorists. It's us. We killing each other every day. A slow, ugly, cancerous, demonic death. So I didn't preach enough. I'm going to go on and get off here. Talk to y'all later. One Bye. for the money, two for the show. Don't play me, honey. This is how we go.